Let's do a quick overview of your website. You'll see at the top when you're on your um, first entered into your website, you'll have your logo here or your company name. And you've got different categories. They can buy, sell, rent, rent to own, information about you and how to contact you, blog information, and then a search field. Um, all of the links, all of the web forms that they enter information into sends their contact information directly into your contact manager and depending on where they click on to get more information is how they'll categorize their contacts. So if they're a buyer and they click in to get more information under buying, it'll categorize them as that. If they're selling, um, it'll categorize them as that. Rent to own, categorize them as that. And it puts them into different autoresponder series and triggers um, different functions if they need to go into uh, different actions, such as um, if they need credit repair. They'll schedule and calendar that for you to give them a call uh, regarding credit repair. Going down further, there's different ways they can get into different parts of your site. So if they need to get a fast, fast cash offer on their home, find the next dream home, search rental properties, or a credit repair. So these are different methods in order to click them into um, easily getting homes for sale. Also down here, selling made simple. They can read more. Each one of these will also navigate them to different fields. So if renting is a better option, this will automatically navigate them into the renting um, portion. What can we do that others won't? This will navigate them into the rent to own portion. The right price every time navigates them into the buying portion and then selling made simple navigates them to the selling portion. Another web form here to get more information. And then this sends them into about you. How can we help? Another web form to get information from them. Get started today. Another way to collect information brings up another web form. And then the bottom is filled in on each page no matter where they navigate to this is going to remain consistent throughout each of the pages so a little blurb about you links into the different blogs and then contact us this is your contact information here so let's go in under buying at the top so why buy so they can get more information different reports here they can um, get financing reports free credit consultation, low rates and prices, creative financing. They can browse homes for sale. If they didn't find what they were looking for, they can click in and get more information. Or if they did find something that they want to request a showing on, they can send you that information as well. For selling, you can get a fast cash offer. It's a long form that they could fill out to get more information about them. And again, all of that information is stored in your contact manager. Different articles, if they've already moved, how to stop foreclosure, if there's not enough equity, if the home is already listed, if they have code violations, double payments, if they're an accidental owner or rental property. All of these will trigger different autoresponder series and put them into the right functions. It will classify them again, flag their account um, so that you know exactly how they got into your site and um, direct them from there. If they're looking for rental properties, they can browse what you have for rent, why renting is a good idea. They can request a showing. If they didn't find a rental that they were looking for, they can tell you more about what they want. Or if they did, there's a long rental application that they can fill out. The same for rent to own. They can browse properties that are rent to own. They can request a showing if they found something they wanted. If they didn't, they can tell you what they're looking for, or they can click for a free credit consultation where you will contact them back. Again, this will trigger in the action set and put it on your calendar for you so that you'll know when to call them back. Contact will pull up information where they can get in touch with you. And then the blog. Let's look at some of the blog articles. So they can um, click in by category, or they can just go in and start reading 
information. So this really helps to solidify why you're an authority because you have a lot of information that's just pre-written but it's very useful interesting information that you can use again and post and other sites to help market and drive contacts to your website. Now let's go in and look under buying what pulls up. So they could either go directly into this buying and um, look for you under the state or zip code or if they want to just directly go browse homes for sale it takes them both to the same location. So if you had homes in multiple states this would be a nice feature to have as a drop down. You can customize this if you don't want this menu bar to, sh to show up at the top. You can remove different fields if you want to. So if you only had homes in Florida for example um, you could remove that completely. Maybe you're doing business in multiple states though and you'd like to have that up. Um, the same for rentals if they want to browse rental homes or rent to own. And depending on how you have your home listed under your marketing criteria, if you have it just for sale or if you have it for sale and lease option, depends whether or not it will show up under um, the different categories here. You notice that I had banners on when I went to the rent to own, but I do not have them under buying. Those, again, is a field that you can remove or you can leave it on there. If they want more information about the home, they just click in and they get a nice little description, a map, features, information about the neighborhood and schools. All of this information is determined within the marketing profile for that particular property. Well, there you have it. Uh, keep in mind all this information is customizable within your website. Your VA is able to customize anything for you if you want things taken out from your site, if you want things added to your site, just let us know. Also, uh, you can build different sites. So what we build for you is an authority site, but you can build just separate buyer sites, a separate seller site, a separate rent to own site. So just keep that in mind. Also, I just want to show you where you go to get to your site. So from your home page back in your Dreams account, you'll see here you can view websites. And then you would just, in order to get into it, click on the domain. Thanks so much.